Well, there it is. Hi guys, this is Witty, and welcome to the news that is Loria. Yes, Loria has made its way to the Steam page. If you go and check out the link at the top or the video description below, you can go check it out on Steam right now. If you've played Warcraft 1 or Warcraft 2 or are curious how they play, this game is very much inspired by the two of them. As you can see, it's got a bit of the art style from Warcraft 2, but it's also got some of the Beautiful gameplay of Warcraft 1. A lot of people won't actually realize, but I actually prefer Warcraft 1 to 2 when it actually comes to gameplay. But this game sort of like encompasses both of them. I'm very keen to check it out because it will be coming out shortly. It is planned for November. The release date is actually stated here as the 26th of November. And if it does come out, when it does come out, I shall be covering it hopefully. And you guys can check out the videos that will be coming out in regards to this game but I thought I'd show you the trailer to get your interest and then go over some screenshots and what the game is about. Hello there citizen. Let me tell you something about the privilege of enlisting into the glorious army of Loria. Are you ready to see the world? Are you ready for respect and admiration? To battle the enemies of the kingdom with your fellow brethren and live with honor? Are you ready to take upon a heroic quest to join the proudest profession, soldier on the front line of our free kingdom's defense? Because let me tell you this, if you're not ready, <laughs> uh, this is not a democracy. You, soldier, are enlisted. Congratulations. Okay, so if we take a look at some screenshots now, you can see... It's got some of that glorious art style that's being built up. You can see the minimap here. So you've got reminiscence of like almost a Warcraft 3 system where you can see the resources comfortably, the movement panel, the abilities, the inventory, you know, the icon, the levels, because the characters can level up. Well, the hero characters can. So it also has its emphasized Warcraft 3 assets in there as well, which is fantastic as a Warcraft 3 player. And we also have dungeon levels by the looks of it. So that comes back to Warcraft 1. Ah, I see. Now this is looking a little bit more hordish, this one. And I think I see some griffins there, or what looks like could be griffins. Ah, we got a, a new race. It's not just humans versus orcs in this. I believe there's some sort of shadow style race going on like dark elves something along those lines almost necromatic powers as you can see the skull above and the the purple hume oh we've got snowy levels as well first is a witch it looks like a troll i see Lots of exploration to be done, so I'm very much looking forward to that. For now, the game is planned to be single player, and if there's enough interest, then perhaps there will be multiplayer implemented, but expect it to be mo uh, single player. And I love that aspect because I just kind of want a cool story to adventure in, and I feel like I might be getting that with this game. So if we go over some of the uh, features about the game... Loria is a homage to classics from the golden era of strategy games with modern spin on controls and user experience. Game introduces not just RTS elements, but also RPG elements, such as hero units collecting items and quest-driven missions, offer a far more interesting take on the RTS genre. Goal of Loria is to take the best concepts from the classics and create a modern user experience, intelligent AI, smooth controls, pleasing aesthetic, and to add interesting content. Loria was made with passion and love of the RTS genre that has given us so many hours of fun. Hopefully we have managed to recreate this experience and fun. So there's two playable races, two campaigns with eight missions each, 16 missions in summary, entertaining story, dozens of units, building and upgrades, six unique heroes, levelable heroes with a backpack, and veteran units. So the veteran units is where if the unit is able to survive in combat or kill enough units, it will upgrade and it will get an extra bonus stat where it will have something like plus 15% health regeneration. So it's like a reward for keeping a unit alive. There's skirmish games as well. So there you go, guys. If you are curious, then please check out the Steam page for uh, Loria. Again, that's in the video description below. And uh, yeah.
I'll most likely be uh, playing this on the Witty One YouTube channel, so youtube.com slash witty one. If you want to see some gameplay, you can already do that. That will also be in the video description below because I've already played a few of the levels that were given to me during the uh, demo season of Loria. So if you want to see how it plays as well, you're more, most welcome to go click on those links and you'll be able to see some of the gameplay just to give yourself a little bit more uh, enticement. And uh, yeah, check it out and uh, see what you think. Thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.